The next thing, you can be healed just by forgiving somebody through forgiveness. Each time Jesus thought about prayers, like in Matthew 6, Mark 11, from verse 22 to 20, he talked about faith and prayer and all those things. Faith. That's a major chapter on faith. By the time you go to verse 25, for instance, get to verse 25. And when you stand praying, forgive if you have ought against any. That your Father also, which is in heaven, may forgive you your trespasses. It's not just saying, I have forgiven. I forgive him. Meanwhile, you have done all you want to do. Then you, you, have, you feel some relief now. You say you've forgiven. That's the spirit of vengeance. How many of you know that there is a kind of relief that comes with vengeance? There is a kind of joy that goes with vengeance. <laughs> I've revenged. Is it not you looking at me? Is it not true? But that fleshly vengeance, the fleshly joy, it's not the joy of the Holy Spirit. Of revenge, and then you feel relieved. We can now continue. That's not forgiveness. Being spiteful is not forgiveness. We are talking of, okay, this person has a lot, but I don't go say that you are, you write it off, move on. Move on. Count it as nothing. Move on. Are you hearing me? It may not be as easy as saying it now, but you move on. You don't know the one the person will do the next day. And so you, the person can keep you in the, on the spot. P4. Give you a P4 for life. Keeping you struggling with forgiving. Forgiving even the next one he will do or she will do. It's not, that doesn't mean that you won't talk about it or tell the person you're offending me. You can't move far when you're in unforgiveness. You can't move far. Every time Jesus talked about prayer, he talked about forgiveness. And you take Matthew 6 and all those places. He talked of forgiveness because that's one pitfall in that area of getting results from God. People get held down. Pahegi was ministering somewhere and there was this, uh, this uh, a woman that came there. She had medical issues on her body and she lodged in a hotel now, but she was attending there and then um, um, I think the message was coming about forgiveness. She, the prayer line, she had gone through the prayer line a couple of times. And then, then she went back to her hotel. The other, she has a brother, her only brother, the only sibling that was living in the U.S. to another city in the U.S. For 22 years, they've not touched to each other. When she had that show, she went to the hotel room and went back there and called him. The man was surprised and was glad that she called he said, this thing that happened, that thing we did, he said, it was my fault, forgive me. No, the man said, no, it was my fault. She said, no, it was my fault. They were now, it was my, he said, okay, let's share it 50-50, it was her fault. And she got relieved. She came back there. Before anybody could pray for her, she got healed. The evil man said, the person, where hold person for ground, hold himself. And the problem is that you don't know where that thing will end. You, the people have died in the process. People have died in unforgiveness because of unforgiveness. You have to choose to make progress in spite of some people, not because of them. And the way is forgiveness. You have to choose. It's a choice to make progress in spite of some people, not because of them. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not answer me. I should be able to stand here and minister to anybody. Anybody freely with a free heart. No matter what the person has done or has not done. I should be able to minister to everybody. Trusting God to help that person. Pray for the person from a sincere heart. If you begin to partition people as to those that are in your Google, that those that are in your bad book, you will do that all your life. Because people change. 